you know what? Actually, um, this is turning out a lot easier so far than I thought it would be. Easier? Like I thought, I thought, well, I thought they kind of like throw us into like just. Well, I mean, the assignments are like kind of overwhelming, but like I expected a lot more work than we're getting. I kind of expected us to be. I thought it was going to be like in my first language arts class, we were going to have to stand up and teach a sample lesson, and that it was going to be like put on the spot. So I, I see where you're coming from with that. See, I didn't, I didn't assume that. I didn't think mm -hmm. we'd be. I thought like practicum was when we'd be put on the spot. And, like mm -hmm. right now, I thought we'd, it'd just be like, well, kind of like our undergrad, just lectures, and they just kind of feed us stuff, and we'd nod. Mm -hmm. It's not, I don't know, it's kind of nice, like, they're trying to lead by example, so, like, they're, yeah, all of our profs are, like, really, really nice, and, like, they <laughs> quiet us down with the light switch. Really and encouraging us and saying, <laughs> great job, like, when do you hear that in undergrad? Like, Never. Yeah. Yeah. like in music class, like, she teaches yes. us, like, we're six-year-olds, and we're, like, clapping, I and, it's so and I fun. eat it up with a spoon, and yeah. he's like, hey! <laughs> and I feel like I'm learning yes. by that, yeah. by, by them putting us in the position of our students, mm -hmm. I'm learning a lot mm -hmm. already. I don't know, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed right now, like there's a lot of work packed into mm -hmm. these first five weeks before practicum mm -hmm. and like, especially next week and the week after, everything's due. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like maybe we haven't had enough time to, to really get started on yeah. anything. I, I know I'm struggling to find resources and how to do this. Yeah. It's like, oh, go find resources. Go find find age-appropriate resources. Yeah. And the curriculum um, documents and stuff. I was speaking with someone yesterday who suggested that I use a textbook as a resource or something. In a, it, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> textbooks for young people. Like, I, that it, it hadn't clicked, it hadn't clicked that I could use a grade 6 textbook to find information for grade 6 science. I feel like I can't really learn though because I'm so overwhelmed with everything and especially for me, my schedule, like on Wednesdays I have five classes back to back all day and it's all my curriculum classes. Oh, so goodness. And those are usually, those are most of the classes that we have stuff due. So mm -hmm. I have one thing due for each class every Wednesday, five things due. But mm -hmm. I'm really nervous for my first lesson plan that I'm going to have to make for practical. Mm -hmm. like, I am so, I have so much anxiety already mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. right now it took me like a few hours to do my math lesson plan, and it's like I had to find resources, I had to get, yeah. you know, find creative ideas, and mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to teach rotely through like a textbook or anything like that. So it's like we're stretching to reach outside of the box, mm -hmm. yeah. and, and have you, it's it's hard. And right. there's so many options, like there's so many resources to get your resources. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean, but we don't know those yet. Like my math teacher showing us all these cool websites, and but I. I have no idea Once how to navigate any of them. Right, yeah. right. It's like, this is great, but how do I even work this? I was wondering, how are you guys coping with the timing, like time management issues? So either I'm like really tired or I like didn't get enough stuff done because I slept for 12 hours. I have two kids, so um, I put the kids down for a nap and they sleep for an hour and I do stuff then and then I wait till 7 o'clock at night and I do stuff from 7 to 11. Having a good um, a good system to keep track of your notes or, or even just the homework that's due. Like I printed out myself a, an Excel spreadsheet with my classes, and then an empty box on the right. It's basically a day planner, but it's on a piece of paper. Yeah, you know, uh, for me, what I've done is I've taken the monthly planners yeah. and I've put in all the assignments due from now until April. That's a great and idea. And I've done the same with reading, so I've broken it down into. Uh, into days like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I wake up every morning and I look what I have to do today and I just put it in my agenda so that I don't leave my house until I have exactly, you know, so I don't have to go back to my apartment. So I can bring everything to campus and just get that done and then I can go home. Yeah. Are you guys working or do you have part time jobs or? Um, I'm actually working on this degree and I'm doing my master's at the same time, so it's about an extra 20 hours on top of what we're doing. Um, I think my sleep is kind of being impacted because I don't go to bed until like 2 and I wake up at 7. Oh my goodness. I find that if I go to bed at 11 every, 11 o'clock every night, by Friday night I'm 8.30 in bed, I put the kids to bed and I crash. You have to. Once or twice a month, uh, my job had in the summer, I was bartending. I'll just go back and cover a shift and okay. make a quick couple hundred. Um, I haven't done too much yet. I talked to my husband and my daughter about once a week. Uh, they're in Singapore, wow. in Malaysia, so oh, that must be so hard. It is. Yeah, my daughter's two and a half as well, and I have a four-year-old. Um, I keep telling myself the time's going to go by either way, 
How have you guys been finding the teachers? Do you have any teachers that have like really made a huge impact? On a couple of inspirational teaching? classes, like first classes right out of the get-go. You're like, whoa, that's an amazing way to approach uh, teaching a classroom, taking these concepts from this particular subject. And it's kind of changing the way I'm thinking about how I would have how I will teach my class. Like. Myself, I have a, a math teacher who's, um, I mean, I personally never liked math. And I was really intimidated when I got into the classroom. And she's actually made me very optimistic. And then my French teacher, she's uh, about my age, and she has kids the same age. And she's very enthusiastic about French, which is my uh, specialty. I remember on the first day he came to class, he sat there and he said, he had on a PowerPoint slide this big yellow slide that said 100%. I want you guys to start believing in yourself and knowing that you can get 100%. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do the bell curve because it's not fair. It's as much effort as you put into it. And he said, you know, these are three rules that you want to do if you want to succeed in the class. Read the book, come to lectures. But the third one was he encouraged group work. You see all these people starting to form their own little study mm -hmm. groups already. Right? And I think it's a great idea to work as a group because you're exchanging ideas, you're alleviating a little bit of that stress. And also dividing the work. And you're dividing the work. Like That's go, right. everyone take one question out of the ten, come back in ten minutes, and then share. And uh, they encourage cheating in this program in the sense of looking at each other. Cheating, no, but yes. this is the sense of taking someone else's work. How's your day been? So far, uh, it started out pretty good. Then I counted up all the assignments that I'm expected to deliver before the year end and I, I stopped at 50. The problem I have is that there's a, a few that I don't know are out there and I'm going to have to find a way to extract them. Uh, I'm not that computer savvy so uh, when I find that out I'm sure I'm going to be less happy about uh -huh. that part of it. Well that's the same with me. I, I'm happy with what I'm learning right now and I'm realizing that, yes, there are so many assignments, but when I think about it, they're very short assignments. They're not um, very time consuming, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So as long as I'm using my time management skills and with you too, just take it one step at a time, one week at a time, one day mm -hmm. at a time instead of the whole semester. I don't think they're meant to be time consuming. If, if it's yeah. time consuming, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> I just think because there's so many classes, like in one week, in one short amount of time, and some of them you have to go to twice a week, mm -hmm. um, and every every time you go, you're expected to have another set of readings done or another assignment done. That that just the amount of work. It maybe it's not difficult work, or maybe it's um, um, not time consuming, but it's it takes up a lot of your time because there are so many classes. Mm -hmm. So many readings. Yeah, that's true. I have a I have a really bad dream that I'm going to get to class and I'm going to realize oh. oh there's an assignment that I'm supposed to be handing in, or, or like, oh, I left that binder at home, or I, it's like a dream I have every, every day that I get to class. I'm Work in my world for the past 30 some years has been physically getting your hands dirty, making this transition, and it, it is difficult. The, the, the focus here is, I guess, from my point of view, is to jump from where I was to where I will be, and try to look at this as a middle ground somewhere. Uh, develop uh, a goal and keep that as a bullseye to, to go to and if if I concentrate too much on what happens between where I was and where I'm going to it may trip me up. Um, a lot of people feel really overwhelmed and so far there's been times but basically um, compared to undergrad the amount of work and the number of hours in class hasn't been too bad. So far, everything's been pretty easy, maybe. It's only the third week, so we've learned a lot, but basically, I don't feel like I'm drowning. The only way I find myself drowning is because I did two undergrads. So my first one was in psych, so it's been a while since I did any readings. Uh. And there's a lot of readings in psych, and I was like, oh, I don't remember <laughs> doing readings in psych. And then I come to teacher's college, it's like, oh, I have to do readings <laughs> just like I did in psych. And I'm just a really slow reader. And it's just, oh, you know, by the time you read like two pages, it's like 97 to go.